to it guys, it's Jidel, and we are here with another story time. Now, originally I was going to post a vlog today, but I actually spent my weekend in Thousand Oaks. Most of you guys know Thousand Oaks is where the mass shooting was and where the fires were, so I had an interesting weekend to say the least. It was my hometown, I felt like I had to go back, then I had to evacuate my dad's house right when I got there. So it's been a wild weekend, so I didn't really get to vlog much, didn't, you know... It's just been a weird vibe lately, given all the trouble my hometown's been having. But in the midst of all this, I remembered a new story to tell, so let's get to it. For those of you who are longtime viewers, I've told bits and pieces of this story before, so you might know it or know some of it, but I've never compiled it all in one place, so here we go. Essentially, the whole story leads up to me having the weirdest doctor's office visit of all time and learning that I didn't know how to walk properly at the age of 20, which is embarrassing, and I'll explain how I was walking that was improper, but we gotta get to the start of the story. So, basically, my freshman year of college, I used to play a lot of intramural basketball. I learned quickly that they didn't call charges in the intramural freshman league. So, you know, after being tired of trying to take charges over and over again, because kids were just like, launching themselves at the hoop, so I started getting better at like positioning myself for charges. The rest would never call them. So what did I do? One day I saw a kid trying to take a charge. I jumped just as high as I could right at the kid to get the and one. I got the and one, but in the process I completely destroyed my ankle. Now we'll get back to why this is relevant later. Fast forward two years later, I'm a camp counselor at ID Tech Camps. I'm teaching kids how to make Minecraft levels. Yeah, no, I'm not kidding. I, I taught kids how to do Minecraft and scratch. I wanted to teach Half-Life 2 level design because I actually know how to do that. You know, I've made some Counter-Strike maps. I've, I've got some juice behind me. But they had me teaching kids Minecraft, so I was a Minecraft instructor for a year there. Anyway, I'm playing basketball with the overnight campers. Now let me show you the scene. It's like me, another counselor, and a bunch of like 15, 16 year old kids. At one point in the game, I'm playing, I'm having a good time, and the ball's going up the court. I'm trying to sprint back to play defense. Like I am trying to sprint, boys. And my body is only going at a slow jog. Now this isn't like, I'm super tired, and I just don't have it in me. No, this is me trying to sprint full speed and my body just being like, no, 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 you're gonna go at a slow speed. So I was like, okay, that is super weird. Like that makes no sense. I've never had a point in my life where I wanted to do something with my body and my body was just like, nah. Like, it's not like I was like, I wanna jump 40 inches. No, I just wanted to run at my personal max speed and my body didn't even want me to run at my max speed. So that was scary to say the least, but I like brushed it off. I was like, okay, maybe, Maybe it was nothing, like whatever. I go to bed, I'm fine. I wake up the next morning, my entire body hurts. If I do anything, any sort of movement, like would just hurt my body. Like I was just done, pretty much. Like I, I just couldn't do anything. So what ended up happening was I had to take off work the rest of the summer and I go to this doctor who's in LA, he's like a specialist for these things. And basically he takes one good look at me and he says, oh, you sprained your ankle some in the last few years, didn't you? Pretty badly. That's what that first story about the charges in basketball was about. This doctor is such a wizard. He looked at me, looked at my foot, and was just like, yeah, you had an ankle sprain two years ago, I can tell. So I'm talking, I'm talking to the wizard of doctors here. He's on a different level of doctoring, I guess, or physical therapy, whatever. And so anyway, basically what happens is my dad has been going to this doctor. That's how I found him. My dad, one of his legs is a bit longer than the other one. And so he suspected that might be the case with me. So I go to the doctor, I find out that yes, my left leg is about a centimeter longer than my right leg. So in all my workout shoes, guys, I actually wear like a little boost. I can show I'll be right back. So for example, now in my workout shoes, I wear these kind of like things. They're like mismatched insoles for my feet. So they're like, my feet can be balanced. Cause what happened was my hip was misaligned. It was like tilted. So my spine was out of whack. So my whole body was out of whack. Essentially I, my body was just messed up. I had the body of a 60 year old man at 20. Like the doctor literally told me People who have mismatched legs, like it never becomes a problem till they're in their like late 50s. Well, for me, it happened when I was 20. So the doctor also noticed that I walked improperly. You're probably wondering, how do you walk the wrong way? There's only one way to walk. And honestly, what happened is, so when you do walk, typically you move your arms, you kind of swing your arms while you walk. That's like a typical walking motion, you know, like when you run, you have your arms up. So when you walk, you have your arms kind of swinging. 
Basically, I was always so used to wearing hoodies because I was on the East Coast at the time that I always had my hands in my pocket because my freshman year was like the coldest winter on record in like 30 years in New Jersey. It was literally cold from like the end of October to like the end of April. Like it was just always cold. So I only wore hoodies. So my hands were only in my hoodie pocket. I never swung my arms. I'm gonna always drag my feet. So I used to walk basically like this. This is basically how I walked. And so the doctor notices this and he's like, okay, we're gonna have to teach you how to walk properly. Now mind you guys, I'm 20 years old at this point in my life. And I came to the realization that after 20 years on this earth, I still didn't know how to walk. I didn't know how to walk as a 20 year old man. This dude's taking me into an alleyway next to the doctor's office to teach me how to walk. He has me walk about 10 steps. So I walk 10 steps toward him. And this dude, I swear to God, he takes a big breath. He goes, <sighs> looks like we have a lot of work to do. Looks like we have a lot of work to do. Talking about my walking form, my walking form. Guys, I was so bad at walking. A doctor said we have a lot of work to do. He was one of those doctors too, where it's just like, it's not awkward for him because he's like an amazing doctor, but like, you know, any other human being, if they had to explain how to properly walk to another human being, like, dude, just like, imagine the situation. I want you to picture the situation. A man is teaching another man who's always had functioning legs how to walk properly. That literally doesn't make sense, bro, but it was my life. I basically had to spend that whole summer, like, adjusting the way I walked, the way I ran, everything, so I'd never have, like, the hip realignment and back problems ever again. Like, that was a weird summer, but making off work for a whole summer actually is kind of what got me propelled on YouTube. I was able to actually start making videos and stuff, like, that I didn't have time to make before. So it was actually low key, high key, something key, maybe a mid-level key blessing in disguise if you think about it and that's kind of it it was a short story you guys have just been clamoring for story times like just so much so i just figured i had to had to dig deep in my my brain archives try to find another story i'm sure i have more stories guys like when i'm with friends i'm always just like coming up with all these stories that i always forget to tell on youtube like I want to post more story times because you guys love them, but I just hard to remember stories. I've told so many on the channel. And yeah, guys, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, here's the playlist for all the story time videos if you want to check that out. If you want to see my most recent rebuild, you can click up here and subscribe down here. Peace. Have a great day.